the next topic is critical section till now we have seen the need for process synchronization and the problem of race condition we saw that the problem of race condition occurs when two or more cooperative processes are trying to access their shared memory or a resource at the same time and the part of the program or the piece of code in which the process is accessing this shared variable or resource is called a critical section thus this portion of program or this piece of code is a critical section for the process p1 similarly this portion of program is a critical section for the process p2 and the problem of race condition occur when more than one such process is executing in its critical section at the same time thus to avoid the problem of race condition if we have a set of processes p0 p1 etc to pn which share something then if any process pi is in its critical section then no other process in that set should be allowed to enter their critical section to avoid this critical section problem and to synchronize the processes in this way various process synchronization mechanisms can be designed and implemented for that each process if it has one or more critical sections in its program then before entering each critical section it should execute a piece of code called entry section and after executing the critical section it should execute another piece of code called exit section and the remaining portion or the remaining program is called the remainder section this entry section the piece of code within this entry section and exit section ensures that the critical section problem is avoided and any such solution to the critical section problem should satisfy some conditions the first condition is mutual exclusion as we have discussed if any process pi is executing in its critical section then no other process which shares something with this process in this critical section should not be allowed to execute in their critical section only one process should execute in the critical section at one time it is called mutual exclusion in the next condition as progress for example consider a set of three processes p1 p2 and p3 which access a shared variable named count now to avoid the critical section problem with respect to these three processes a solution a synchronization solution has been implemented with some entry and exit codes such that the process p1 will enter the critical section first only the process p1 will execute the critical section first and while this process exits from the critical section then it can make a call to the process p2 or it can allow the process p2 to enter the critical section now process p2 will execute in its critical section at that time the other two processes are not allowed to enter the critical section while p2 exits from the critical section it can make the process p3 enter the critical section now p3 will execute and while p3 exits from the critical section it can make the process p1 enter the critical section then on it will execute in a round robin fashion so first p1 followed by p2 then p3 again followed by p1 and so on so assume that this is a solution implemented to solve the critical section problem for these three processes this solution ensures mutual exclusion so if any one process is in its critical section the other two processes will not be executing in their critical section but suppose at a particular time if it happens like this 
If both the processes P1 and P2 wants to enter the critical section at the same time in the beginning. So first the process P1 will be allowed to enter the critical section. And when P1 completes and exits from the critical section, then the process P2 will be allowed to enter its critical section. And now suppose P2 has completed its critical section chord. P2 is in its exit section chord. At this exit section chord, the process P2 can make the process P3 enter the critical section. But the process P3 is still in its reminder section chord. It hasn't completed the reminder section chord execution. Thus, the process P3 does not want to enter the critical section now. But the process P1 needs to enter the critical section now. But for P1 to execute, the process P3 should execute before it. Then only the process P1 will be able to enter its critical section. Thus, the progress of P1 got blocked by a process P3 who is in its reminder section. This should not be allowed. If the critical section is free and if some process is wishing to enter its critical section, then only those processes which are not in their reminder section should participate in this decision. Here the processes which are not in the reminder section are P1 who is in this entry section code and the process P2 who is in the exit section code. They are not in their reminder section. So P1 and P2 can participate in this decision. But a process P3 who is executing in the reminder section code should not participate in this decision. This is called progress. Thus, the solution to critical section problem should satisfy this condition of progress. And the last condition is bounded weighting. Let there be two processes P1 and P2 which share something and P1 and P2 needs to enter the critical section at the same time. Uh, suppose first the process P1 is allowed to enter the critical section. Now P1 has completed the critical section and it exits from the critical section but again P1 needs to enter and execute the critical section. This time again the process P1 got the chance to enter the critical section and this continues indefinitely. It should not be allowed. Once a process has made a request to enter the critical section, then there should be a limit to the number of times or there should be a bound to the waiting time of this process or there should be a limit to the number of time this process be allowed to enter its critical section then on. So P2 has already made a request to enter the critical section and then P1 should not be allowed to enter the critical section again and again infinite number of times. We should keep a limit or a bound to the number of times then P1 can enter the critical section. After that limit or after that bound the process P2 should be given a chance. This is called bounded waiting. Thus, the solution to critical section problems should satisfy mutual exclusion, progress and bounded weighting and the first two conditions mutual exclusion and progress are mandatory and the last condition bounded weighting is not mandatory uh, but if it is not followed there will be starvation of the process.